Hey, my friend. How are you, dude? Fine, thank you. Oh, I'm very well, thanks, man. It's an honor to have you here. The, the, honor, the honor is mine. <laughs> yeah, you know, we had a Malibu last week, which is like his character from... Master Malibu. Yeah. First, first for my friend. I, I apologize for my English because it's rusty. <laughs> There is no problem at all. That that's just make your jiu-jitsu stronger. <laughs> <laughs> A long time I don't speak English. I'm just No man, you cool, you good. I was telling the guys, we had Malibu last week and you you on my vision, you were the complete opposite because you like your line is more Malibu is like making jokes and fun. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I see you, very, you're like very nice master, very nice guy with a person I like a lot, Malibu. Amazing man! And that was like a, that was that was a dream Amazing come true. Word. Yeah, that was a dream come true of you to be able to talk with him live. You know, it was amazing. Yeah. Oh man! And how is your life going on the lockdown news? Tell us how are you uh, doing. I'm I'm so so. <laughs> <laughs> I I believe it's not so good. I I believe everybody in the same situation, but I I believe um, and how how do you say the word? Um, we overcome. Everybody we overcome, and I I don't. I have sure about this. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's the main thing. Yeah, it's will we'll be. We'll be part today, of uh, the memory. We'll be part yeah, of the memory. Today, uh, I'm talking to the mayor with my city, in Jundiaí, São Paulo. I live in Jundiaí, São Paulo. I talk to the mayor. And I believe we start reopen uh, really soon. Oh, that's amazing, man. We, we, here, we don't know yet when we're going to open. We still... This is the reason I'm doing this live. I start with it. Because yeah. before, we didn't know when it's open. So... It, today is the live 42. So 42, like uh, lives ago, I was like, oh, let's do a couple of lives just to get the guys together and keep us going. But is then the it was going two? on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like, we don't know when it's going to open. Everybody, now we, we are allowed to meet a number of six people in the park. So yeah. we can meet together and then we can do some exercise. But with uh, one meter and a half apart. But we can do like some, we do some chin-ups and like circuit training. Yes. But no jiu-jitsu and no, not inside of the gyms yet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And how, how is it uh, for Sao Paulo? Because Sao Paulo, they were planning to do lockdown as well, wasn't it? Yeah, but no. Sao Paulo start, start uh, one, uh, I don't know the word in English, but it started one flexibilization. I don't know if you yeah. spoke that. Start one of flexibilization and if we reopen, it start reopen. Yeah, oh, that's I good. Be I believe the all gyms reopen 30 days with yeah. uh, some protocols for you reopen, but I, I believe in 30 days. Amazing. Yeah, that's great news. That's great news. And Nilson, tell us first, first of all, do we call you professor or do we call you master? Because you no, have professor. six degrees. Professor. Please, professor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us Malibu, a little bit. Malibu is a master. I, I, I only a professor. <laughs> but six, six degrees is like, it's very yeah, close already. Degree, but master is a seven, seven degree. So it's on the edge. On the edge yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> how long? How long did you you get you get your seventh degree now? Uh, this and more five years and a half. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's a that's a journey. And, and when did it, when did this this journey started? When did we start with martial arts? I'm start uh, with a uh, four years old. Uh, I'm start in the jiu jitsu and the judo with the same professor. Uh, I'm a, I I don't know the word in, in English. I'm a hyperactive, hyper, hyperactive. Yes. Uh, I'm I'm talking to you and shake my hand, shake my my feet. <laughs> it's difficult for me. Uh, sit it and be quiet. <laughs> imagine imagine when I was four years old. 
Uh, yeah. I started. I started uh, first of all for a discipline, and don't stop. Don't don't no stop anymore. Um, <laughs> Amazing. Yes. And was it with the same teacher all the way through, or did you no, change no, it? No, no, no. I'm changing. I'm starting with the Claudio Pesce, and before I'm changing for the Hoyler and Hoker Grayson. Oh, the... okay. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, and was I was in Jundiaí, or did you train somewhere no, else? I, I'm from Rio de Janeiro. I'm from Rio de Janeiro. Also, I'm a carioca. Yeah, <laughs> and I live in São Paulo a long time ago. Amazing. But I'm from Rio de Janeiro. Oh, so you're from Rio? Yeah, from the capital city, from Rio yeah, city, Grajaú. Grajaú. Oh, I used to live in Grajaú in 80s. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I was uh, I was affiliated to the Grajaú Tennis Club. Really in the... nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I, like I started like in Brazil. I used to see that you used to have a lot of like um, the Grajaú. They have like kind of a gang. Like they had lots of fights in Grajaú, isn't it? Yeah. A lot. The... Yeah. <laughs> So that when I tell people I used to live in Brazil, they think I was living like very close to the sea. But when you think about Grajaú, it's it's not as close to the sea as. No. <laughs> it was a big city. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> city. It's massive. <laughs> and and the, when did you decide to to do jiu-jitsu like uh, seriously, like full time? I'm deciding in nineteen ninety five when I start my gym. Uh, I always, I always training for fun, training for because my father <laughs> wanted to. Uh, and when I start my gym in 1995, I'm, I, I do jiu-jitsu a full time. Wow, yeah. And which belt were you at the time? A black, black belt. When black I, belt. I, I took my black belt in in January 10th, 1995. Oh, amazing. Yes. And uh, did you, you said, you mentioned about your dad. Did your dad support you all the way through? What was the relationship? Yeah, my dad and my mom always support me in the, the jiu-jitsu. Uh, my mom uh, is a, a hard mom. When I, I, I a little kid and I say to my mom, can uh, I... I know I don't train it today, my mom. Oh, you gonna train it today? <laughs> 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 very good my yeah. mom is a really hard really tough mom <laughs> that's very good it's good I, I, I think it's good and why did they do they used to do martial arts as well or just because they, they want you to, to carry on training if, if I do martial arts repeat please uh, did, did your parents supported you because they used to do martial arts or because they want you to do some like, physical activity no, he, he want a discipline. Uh... Discipline. I'm mean, a really uh, difficult kid. <laughs> I don't stop any moment. Uh, it's a really difficult. And my my dad, uh, my dad needs some help in martial arts. He he find the discipline for me. That's true. Yeah, that's good. That that's a lot of people. They they see the martial arts as a way to to help the kids. How do you feel? How do you feel as a teacher when you get a child from their parents? How do you feel to do to do this paper now to be able to educate the kids? How do you feel comfortable doing that, Nilson? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm feel comfortable. And I like so much teaching kids. I have a lot of kids in my gym, and. and most of the fathers and the mothers, father, at, um, how do you say the words? Uh, bring your kids to my academy first. First of all, for the discipline and for the, for the self-defense. Uh, discipline is the, is the first Amazing. place in my... <laughs> yeah, this is why I think it's tricky to teach uh, martial arts for kids. You have to be very competent because the kids they are always energetic the kids they like uh, they so you really need to be able to be you have to be a good teacher to be able to teach kids yes uh, for, for for teaching kids you have 
uh, spoken. Uh, how, how did you... Uh, sorry about my English, guys. No uh, problem, no problem. For teaching kids, you have some things. First of all, don't talk a lot. If you talk a lot, if you don't... Uh, need the, the, the kids pay attention for you talk. Um, take the positions and... How did you how did you how did you say uh, when I when I teaching one arm bar for for the guard position example if I'm teaching exactly how to do the arm bar is really difficult for for one kid principal if he, if this kid have uh, four or five years old when you when you teach one position I'm I'm simplify the position oh Grab, grab his, uh, one example, grab his hand, 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 arm, put your feet on the ground, move your hip, and pass your leg over his head. And no details. When the kid, I don't know if you, if, if you understand, no details. Yeah. When he's seven years old, eight years old, I put some details. And I put, I and uh, uh, I put some details um, later <laughs> conforme a idade so yeah, according to the, the age yes yeah, 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 yeah it's easy for you learn, uh, teaching like this if you're yeah. teaching the arm bar for the guard and uh, teaching all details is impossible, it's difficult it's very difficult That's a good, yeah, that's a good thought. Because a lot of the guys here, they teach kids and it's one thing that they said that's difficult. Sometimes they lose the control and then the class just become like a, a carnival. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's important. We have a question here, Nils, regarding to the yeah. kids. What's the good age for the kid to start jiu-jitsu? Four years old. Four years old. Four years old, a really good, good age. Yeah. Three years, I think, early, but four is good. And then we have another question here, which is, uh, what was the biggest turning point for you when you improved from belt to belt? So what was the, the turning point? What's the feeling you had when you improved from one belt and then you felt that you were ready to go to the next belt? What's the, the, the point for, that for, people should... For my belt, student. For, uh, from uh, anyone. So they would say for you, like for the person that, uh, so I'm now one belt. And then when should I think that I'll probably be ready for the next belt? So what would be the indicators? Yeah, yeah I, I, I'm thinking we have to, when, when I look into my student, I think in any, any possibility. First of all, we have time for this. Uh, for the white white belt, for the blue belt, I think maybe two years. Uh, for me, you know. Uh, uh, so yes. we have the two years and the techniques and, and we have time for the belt. We have time for the belt. Uh, uh, we have uh, in, in my student need to techniques and we do an exam. I, I don't. Good. I don't know if, yeah. if I spoke correctly. Yeah, as exams. Yeah, we do at our gym me. as well. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you do these exams, Nilson? How do how do the exams work? In, in my in my exams, I, I only self defense, only self defense, because the uh, sports part of jiu jitsu, we training every day. It's easy for I'm watching this. For my for my student for my student learning a really good the self defense in my exam uh, I'm do only self defense. Great, yeah, that's good, Nilson. And tell us a little bit about your competition history. How how was your? I know you were two times world champion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So tell us how when did it start and then how it worked. I'm starting my first com com competition I at uh, five years old in Rio de Janeiro, Campeonato Carioca de Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> I'm five years old. Uh, I don't stop anymore competition. 
I compete no stop in 2016. 2016 is my last year, my last last year to compete, and I won a lot and I lost a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> the best part for me is I lost because I'm learning. I'm learning a lot when I lost. And uh, uh, what possibility to won? Yeah, that's it. I don't know if you understand. Yes, yes. My as much, <laughs> no, as more, more you compete, more chance to win you have, isn't it? If you compete yeah. a lot, then you're going to lose a lot, but you're going to win more. Is, uh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just want to say, <laughs> I just want to say hello to my teacher here, my professor, Ricardo. Ricardo Silva just joined us here. So, Ricardo, Ricardo and Rita... Super. Good, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Is it Nova Forza, Nova Forza UK. So hopefully one day we can have you here visiting us, Nilson, at uh, in London, Nova Forza. My yeah, place. we'll be good. We'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> and what about MMA, Nilson? I know you had some fights in MMA as well. Yeah, yeah I have four fights in MMA, um, and I was I was fighting more. Uh, but I have four fights, three wins and one loss in professional MMA. Professional MMA. Three wins in the first round, uh, one Mata Leão, and two knockouts. Wow. And, and one lost in the first round, too. <laughs> I, I had a knockdown. <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, I'm really aggressive when I'm fighting. I'm liking... And how did you say in English? Tipo a porrada. Yeah, explosion, isn't? Yeah. Yeah. There's an MMA yeah. fighter here on the on the chat, and uh, he's, he he also like you. His last fight, he just went for the flying armbar and he won it, which is Harry. And he put a question oh. here for you. He's he is asking which one is your signature movie move or technique. What's what what? My Jiu Jitsu or MMA? If you can say an MMA, because he's an MMA fighter, so would would help him. I'm a re I'm a really good for takedowns, really good for takedowns. I'm training wrestling in many years. I'm a judo black belt too, and I'm I'm I like very good takedowns. And that Muay Thai professor too. I'm like striking. I'm liking. Oh, uh, I'm really like a uh, knockdown. <laughs> <laughs> a knockdown, yeah. a knockdown, not knockdown. Feel like. <laughs> and, you, and your takedown as well on the Jiu Jitsu, they're very good, isn't it? You always like go double leg, the Bayana. You just like, ah, you have like a, a forward leg, when you do Jiu Jitsu. Leg. Double leg. Yeah, but not, not the same to Jiu Jitsu, the wrestling double leg. Like, it's really bad. I, I don't know if you, if you know how to do it, but it's, the, it's different. Yeah, that's Ricardo. Ricardo, he's our teacher. He has like a, a lot of wrestling background. So he does like a, a lot of... Uh... Really? Really good. <laughs> he's, he's the one. <laughs> it's the same, it's this style is pretty similar to yours, like very forward, like pinning down. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of strength. And tell us, Nilson, all this this conversation about old school jiu-jitsu, new jiu-jitsu, what's your vision about that? What do you think about it? I, I think I think um, we have a mix mix of the two. Because not only old school, because uh, if I, I'm staying in the old school, I'm old. I, I don't, I, if, if I'm only a new school, I lost my accent, my essence. I think every, I think we, we have a mix. I don't lost my excess, but I'm always um, improved and learning and the mix of both. Yeah. There's a wrestler here. You mentioned about wrestling. So there's Stan here, yeah. which is a wrestler. And he's asking if you ever had a wrestling match, if you ever did a wrestling what? competition, if you ever did a wrestling yeah. competition. 
e é em Brasil, em Brasil, é, campeonato é, estadual de wrestling, paulista de wrestling, é, é, campeonato, é, é, temos, com, how did you say in English, like a esta, é, estadual, states, yeah, from the state, yeah, for state, I'm, I, lo I fight for the um, Carlos Honorato in yeah. the finals. Carlos Honorato is uh, second place in the Olympic game, in Judo Olympic game. Wow. I fight with him, fought with him in the finals, in the state championship, the wrestling in Brazil. And I lost for one point, only one point. It's really um, similar the fight. I like a lot wrestling. I like a lot wrestling. Yeah, they're asking here as well if you if you did wrestling at the same time as you were doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. If it was yes, yes, the same time. But wrestling, I don't I don't do training and uh, so much. I I had been training two years. And judo so all, all my life. Ah, but do you think it helps each other? It like a, it helps you to a lot, learn the a lot. Helps, helps a lot, helps a lot, helps a lot. Every, every Jiu Jitsu fighters, and uh, how, how did you say in English? And do you have, if you are a Jiu Jitsu fighter and you compete, do you have training uh, wrestling? Improve your Jiu Jitsu a lot. That's it. Um, so, this guy that was Pretty asking cool. you the question. He does the wrestling and he does the jiu-jitsu as well. So, Tan yeah. is the MMA fighter, wrestler, and jiu-jitsu. And Nilson, I know, I know a big part of your training is the self-defense. So, yes. can you tell us a little bit uh, how important it is to learn self-defense in jiu-jitsu? It's re really important. Because uh, it's, it says the martial arts, it says the jiu-jitsu is a self-defense. If you if you come to the uh, a fight on the street, if you use a sport part for a fight on the street, a jiu-jitsu sport part for a fight in, on the street, it's good. It's help help you. But with self defense, make all the difference. Make all the difference because when I when I when I um, go fight in the street, I can't go into the ground. I can't take down and rolling and in, 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 in the in the uh, in the floor in the street. I can um, the finish the fight most fast possible. You understand? And self defense make it possible. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah it has to be and usually street fight they are quite fast, isn't it? They engage and then suddenly it finished. So if, you, if you're not prepared, you can get hurt, and then people take you apart, and then you just Put take the, the damage. Fight. <laughs> I, 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 used, I used to say the self-defense is a, a before a fight. I use self-defense before the fight. If I, I use the self-defense and I can't use it, we a fight. You understand? Yes, we going... I don't it... know if you understand my rust in English. No, no, it's <laughs> doing amazing. It's amazing. There's another question here. Look, do you think that there is a specific training to do the to make the difference from an athlete and a competitor? So, if there is anything like a physical that someone can do to be a, to be a better athlete, or yeah, of course, of course. Which... If, if you if you have one specific Specifically, training physical for jiu-jitsu. Yeah, of course, it's helped a lot, of course. And do you train uh, or the, do you do any other kind of train on your gym as well, Nilson? Do you have any other different training? Yeah, for me, I like yoga because I believe the flexibility makes the difference when you fight. And you need, you need uh, the, the physical part, of course. You need um the power you need uh, to be a explosion you be a technique and flexibility That's really it. important the flexibility 
Amazing, yes. And how do you deal with your emotions before the fight, Nilsson? I, I, do, I don't know. Um, because I, I, I don't remember. Because I start really early, at five years old, and I never uh, make nervous for, for a fight. Um, but I believe when, when you go and compete, if you compete a lot, uh, you don't think uh, this emotion anymore. Uh, I don't know if you understand. Yes. You have to do a lot for gain experience if for, if, if for you don't um, make nervous. Leave nervous. Yes, that's, that's it. As much as you practice, more calm you, you're going you're gonna to feel. It's like exactly. driving exactly. or... Exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. And which part of the training you think is the most important part, Nilsson? Which part of the for training? Me, for me, fighting. For me, fighting. The best part of the training, when I'm rolling, when I'm fighting, <laughs> for me, is the best part of the training. Yeah, Nilsson. And Nilsson, what the beginners need to do to be able to improve faster on the jiu-jitsu? What's the main thing they can do? Yeah, it's an easy question. Uh, the beginners, for you improve your technique, um, how, how did you say in English? Um, don't use the force. I, 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 think, I think, right? I, I, yes. I spoke, right? Yeah. Don't use uh, Use only the techniques. And uh, even to uh, I lost your training, doesn't matter. But uh, focus on the technique and only the technique. Forget it. Rah, rah. In the beginning, <laughs> forget. Only techniques. That's it. You can get we can get hurt if you go too much strength and then someone put the technique and then you can you can get hurt and you 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 can you can't learn uh, the techniques if you only, only use the force, only use power. You know, in, in the beginner, for the beginners, uh, forget the force and concentrate in the technique. Amazing. Yeah, we have one question here, which, which is the biggest lesson from BJJ and martial arts? Oh, patience. Patience. I'm. I, I. I have patience a lot. I. I. I, I think it's patience. <laughs> And uh, tell us a little bit about your program, like a profession, profession, professional jiu-jitsu. How does it work? Professional jiu-jitsu is an is an online program, a 100 online program. For for I'm learning. How to teach? Uh, what what you teach? Um, I'm I'm le uh, you learning in my program. 103, 103 positions, the basic program. We have 26 uh, classes. Oh, it's frozen there, new son. Teach. Uh, it's a really, really good program. Really good program. Yeah, and are you going to have it in English as well? Or just in are you going to have it in English as well or just in Portuguese, new son, the program? The program in Portuguese. In Portuguese. But... The next year we have the, 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 the this program in English. Amazing, yeah. So we're gonna be watching, watching for it, Nilson. And Nilson, with the growth of the jiu-jitsu on the internet, how do you think we should do to be able to separate the good from the bad? With so much, so much information on the internet nowadays, what's the best way to separate the good from the bad? 
is a lot of information in the internet today. It's good. It's good. Yeah, because um, um, the jiu-jitsu growing faster. Tá? It's good for the jiu-jitsu. But a lot of bad information. We have a filter when you look in some jiu-jitsu positions, when you are listening to some professionals talking, because at the same time, you can see a good, a good situation, good positions, at the same time, it's a bad position. Bad positions, bad <laughs> experience, you have to do a filter. Yeah, Nilson. Do, do, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes. English yeah. is not good. <laughs> no, Nilson, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Nilson, and like what's, your, what's your favorite fighter of all times? Oh, it's easy. Easy. <laughs> and it's not... Hickson Gracie. Hickson Gracie for me. But not only Hickson Gracie. Hoist Gracie. I like Hoist Grace a lot in my masters, Hoker and Hoyer. Yeah, that the roots of Jiu Jitsu, isn't it? Like a yeah, because because I, I have a um, I learn with with the, with with these guys, and I'm a, a number one, a fan number one of him of of the, these guys. That's it, yeah. That's the same thing as Malibu said, that uh, for him, like, Rick's on grace, Ross grace, so he said the same thing. He, he just, like, uh, he grew up with these guys and, and he yeah. just admired the same thing, yeah. And Nilsson, if Nilsson has to fight against Nilsson, what does Nilsson need to do to win? Improve my flexibility to win Nilsson. <laughs> because <laughs> because I think uh, it's the uh, makes the big difference when you fight big 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 difference if I, if I take me if I take me in two God make the difference that's it that's it new son and new son if you if you ever in a place and the fight breaks down, so there's a fight, and you have to, to choose three guys to help you, who would you choose? Anyone. <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> <laughs> my father, my father teach me uh, always in my, in my whole life, if you're in trouble, uh, how did you say in in in, in English? Severe. <laughs> you have, you have to, to to find a way out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no wait for anyone. <laughs> if you did, if you have the problem, the problem is yours. <laughs> The problem's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Only mine. Uh, and in your case, it's bet it's easy because you don't need the help. You you can you can handle you can handle the situation. It's happened in my life it's, uh, it's a couple of times. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nilson, and do you have plans to come to Europe? Europe? Were you with plans to come to Europe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Before, before uh, it's all happened, I talked to some friends, and I will go to France and Spain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so next time you have to put England on your on your on your okay. on your diet, nice. man. And then we, we gotta okay. we gotta yeah. have a pleasure to, to have you here, man. Joining us to le to learn okay. from you as well. And it, a lot of the guys here of the, at the gym, they like to go to Brazil to train. If they go to Brazil, how do they do to train with you, Nilson? Okay. Come, come to Jundiaí, Junja, São Paulo. Look if, um, I, have, I have in my gym a lot of friends do train, come training with me. Come training with me. It's, 
Suécia, Red France Suécia, é, Venezuela, é, Austrália, é, United States, Espanha, é, México, Chile, a lot. That's it. And your DIA is very close to São Paulo, isn't it? Like it's like one one hour. Yeah, really, really. 30, 30, minutes. 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes it. Yeah. yeah. So we're definitely gonna gonna when the guys go there, we're gonna get in touch with you as well to to pay you a visit, and we're gonna be waiting for you to come here and train with us as well. Okay, it's a pleasure. And this. Uh, What would be the words of wisdom that you would give to, or we just have someone there, like when Nova force a trip to Brazil, they're going to visit your gym. Yeah, that's it, guys. Okay. <laughs> and Nilson, what, what's your words of wisdom to, to the jiu-jitsu community now at this time when we cannot train and with the coronavirus and everything? I have two words. I, I bring these, these two words if with all my life and all, all sense of my life. And patience and patience and per be patient, be persistent. Always. That's it. Yeah, that's good. That's good wisdom. Yes. Yeah, Thank you so much, Nilson, for your time. We really appreciate you Thank to you. come here and speak with us. I appreciate <laughs> Sorry again about my rusty. No, we, we're gonna keep practicing. We're gonna bring you more so you can keep practicing with us. Okay, nice. <laughs> really nice. Really nice. Oh, thank you, Edison. And we're definitely gonna pay you a visit there in Jundiaí. And we're waiting for you here. You, you, don't, have, you don't have a pay. Only coming. You don't have a pay. It's my gift for you. Thank you. Thank you, Edison. <laughs> Oh, thank, you. thank you. Have a great evening, my friend. Thank you so much. Thank you very, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you.